Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson divorced on May 30, 1996, spent some time apart, but then began to live together again. The British media delicately write that they each occupy a separate wing of the Royal Lodge. Sarah, despite her divorce from Andrew, has publicly supported him in the string of scandals that have befallen the Prince Prince because of his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein and the Virginia Jew for allegations that cost him his royal career. And now, even if indirectly, Sarah has once again kept Andrew out of trouble for a while, perhaps forever. As you know, King Charles intends to evict Prince Andrew from Royal Lodge and offer him a more modest accommodation Frogmore Cottage, the keys to which were returned the day before by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Andrew has a lot of arguments against it, and the arguments are weighty. First of all, he rented the property in 2003 for 75 years, and the amount of the rent of about £1 million paid immediately. Secondly, the lease is between Prince Andrew and the Crown Estate, and the termination of the contract is not a matter for King Charles, but the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Thirdly, Prince Andrew seems to be firm in his intention to keep Royal Lodge, and has begun renovations at his own expense. Well, now the question of his eviction from Royal Lodge, according to the British media, has been quietly postponed, as Sarah, who underwent surgery for a mastectomy a few days ago, is now recovering at home. After an eight-hour surgery, the Duchess of York returned home to Royal Lodge, where she is gaining strength, which, of course, postpones indefinitely any planned moves to evict the couple. While Fergie is recovering at home, her friend told the Daily Mail. The surgery was a very long eight hours, and it was more complicated than many people think. She Sarah asked me to tell you that she's very grateful to those who saved her, and she's very lucky to be alive. In particular, the Duchess wants to thank the two incredible surgeons Christina Choi and Stuart James, who performed the surgery and the entire medical team who worked tirelessly to help her.